God bless you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to welcome each and every one of you, all my viewers, and I want to thank God for each and every one of you. One, you are wonderful. Two, you have been a factor and a reason why this program has been there and will ever be there since 2006. I just need to appreciate each and every one of you by your way of calling in the true text messages and even when you pr do pray for us, it has been fantastic. Honestly and indeed, you have, how my view God will keep each and every one of you, especially those children that want and pray for me. And I need your prayer now. Every child, you know, all my pastors are children all over in the world. And each and every one of you, I need you to pray for me. Say, let God be God over a matter. I'm praying, I'm facing now. That let God show forth that he is God. And, and they will know we are serving the living God. And God keep you and prosper you. And, um, well, all of you, as you do know, fasting and prayer is on. And so some, many of you joined, of course, from the email. And thank God for result. And the team of the fasting and prayer that God will be God. God, let God be God. Let, let God be God. He's very powerful. And um, of course, and indeed, I need to say it has been fantastic. The turnout has been excellent. So right now, people are praying for the evening section, 7 to 9. So as usual, you can join even tomorrow, assuming you are just joining. Tomorrow, we have in the morning service from 10 to 1 p.m. And uh, in the evening, as usual, from 7. Friday is the last for the fasting. And this fasting will end with an all night from on Friday, the first Friday of July. And July is the seventh month of the year. And the year has begun to, as it were, wind down. And, uh, but I'm sure he will wind down well for, for each and every one of us. And uh, we thank God and bless God for the husbands of the home, the wives and the children and our beloved ones. And we thank God more especially for children that have just done the exams. Those of you getting back, I mean, get into uni, God will keep you and you never meet evil friends. You will all excel and walk and come out to be wonderful citizens and help to add value in your society. And that is our prayer. And um, of course, I, as usual on Sunday, you, you can be part of the service. But do, do remember, our Wednesday services, every Wednesday, like today, it was awesome from 10 o'clock to, uh, to after 12. And so you'll be part of it every Wednesday. We pray, like today we pray, wow, it was awesome. In fact, there is a prayer that I like, the last prayer. And which I said that, look, he said that you have got, you thou, who are known by one name, that Jehovah God is your name. And that let you show for that you still rule in the affairs of men. It was powerful. So on Sunday, of course, our normal services, those of you who will want to join on Sunday, service, the first service from 9 o'clock to 11.30, and the second service from 12 noon to 2 p.m. And you will be blessed. And I know you will be blessed. I know that the, 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 the like Isaiah 54, 15, he said they have a right to gather, but they are equally ordained to fail. Fear thee not. There's somebody looking at me. What fear thee not? In fact, this morning, I had Pharaoh, that every Pharaoh before you, they will fall. It's clear. And you will know that we are serving a living God, and God bless you. Choir.
are gods. There are the works of men. You are the only God. There is none like you. All other gods. There are the works of men. You are the only God. There is none like you. I know my God. I know my God. I know my God. My God knows me. I know my God. I know my God. I know my God. My God knows me. Jehovah Jireh is okay. Is okay. Never know. Alpha and Omega is okay. Is okay. Never know. Now, ATT. I have a Sirike. Cain, a Gosio Magio. Odigi, Chias Odigagi. Is okay. Never know. Adonai, we worship you. Son of God, you are too much. Almighty God, hallowed be your names. Your dominion is forevermore. Father, in the name, I pray for somebody there looking at me. Accident has happened to you several times. You will not die before your time. You are looking at me. Accident. The arrow will never locate you. And my father, my own, I don't know who's looking at me there. Every heart, every issue of the heart, we're asking God to touch. Every issue of the heart. In fact, any organs of your body that need healing. Father, I'm saying, let every medication work for you in Jesus' name. My Lord and my God, there's somebody there looking at me. Every darkness, every darkness around you, I pray that the forces of darkness will never comprehend you. They, they will not understand you. They will not appreciate you. Above all, the forces of darkness will not consume you. May God keep you. Not may. Let God keep you. Let God prosper you. There's somebody there. The time to favor you, the set time, is in July. Why? July is the seventh month. It's the month of perfection in the realm of the spirit. God entered into his rest on the seventh day. May you, as it were, in every area that you have been struggling, in every area you have stressed yourself, in every area you need rest, may you enter into that rest because this is the month and the season of rest. And God bless you. Now, well, like I said, there's something I just have to, there's something, uh, today, I want us to talk on something I've not talked for a while. And I will want you to appreciate it. We have not spoken about it for a while. In fact, because some of us know about demons. We all know about demons. But as it is, we don't know about angels. And it's good to know about angels more than demons. Because it's good to know about demons of God. Because if you know demons, you can know how they operate. But what I don't believe in that, when somebody will tell you, forget it, man, forget it. There's nothing like demons. No, 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 no. That is living in denial. There are forces that you feel. You can hear sounds in your house, in your home. There are times they call your name and you can't understand who is calling you. At times in your dream, you, you are with all kinds of persons in all kinds of altars and shrines and situations. Yeah, at times, you can feel the evil presence. At times, that those that you see, your spirit and you are off as it is. So there's something about demons, but I'm not saying that there are no demons. No, it means to live in, in 
in denial. In fact, if there are no demons, we will all become, we will all become unemployed. Uh, because the essence why Jesus Christ came is in First John chapter 3. He said, I came to destroy the works of darkness and the, and the agent of darkness. We ought to deal with them and bind them. But however, today and for this week or rather for this month or in the next one week or so, by his grace, I, I want to minister to you about the angels. Because there are certain things we don't know. What, that angels are meant to work for me and for you. And angels are powerful. God, angels are, as it were, go between. Between God and man. Angels can relate with God. Angels can discuss and dine with God. Angels can dine and eat with you. The angels that came from heaven visited Abraham and they had good time. So angels have the ability to operate in the level of invisible and still operate in the level of visible. I am taking you to somewhere, follow. But it's good to say, what are angels? Simply said, simple put, in terms of definition, angels are servants. And who is a servant? If it is here, you can call them as a executive assistants. Angels help God in order to actualize what God wants. They are servants to God, and angels are meant to service us. They may not be our servants, but they, they are meant to service us. But angels are servants to God. But angels are meant to service man. Follow. And who created angels? God. Is God that created angels? Psalm 148, please. Verse, verses 2 and 5. Psalm 148, verses 2 and 5, Psalm. Psalm 148, verse 2 and 5. Yes, sir. It says, Praise him, all his angels. Uh -huh. Praise him, all his hosts. Uh -huh. Verse 5. Yeah. Let them praise the name of the Lord. Uh -huh. For he commanded yeah. and they were created. He commanded. He God commanded and the angels came into being. God says, I need angels, I need angels around me. That's why you have angels are there, created by God. Angels are not self-existing. Just as God created man in Genesis 1, God says, let us make man in our own image after our likeness. Genesis 1 from verse 26. Just as God created man, so also God created angels. And with you. Genesis 1, 26. Yes, sir. And God said, uh -huh. let us make man in our image uh -huh. after our likeness uh -huh. and let them have dominion uh -huh. over the fish of the sea uh -huh. and over the fowl of the air uh -huh. and over the cattle. I'm all right. So God created man, gave him function. God created angel for his purpose, for his use. Hebrews 13, sorry, Hebrews 1, 13 to 14. Hebrews 1, 13 to 14. Hebrews chapter 1, 13 to 14. The book of Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 1, yes, verse sir. 13. Yes, sir. Yeah. But to which of the angels uh -huh. said he at any time, uh -huh. sit on my right hand uh -huh. until I make thy enemies thy footstool? Uh -huh. 14. Are they not all ministry spirits uh -huh. sent forth to minister for them uh -huh. who shall be heirs of salvation? Oh, so it means that the angels are meant to service us. Now, angels populate heaven. The dwelling places of heaven, I mean of angels. Angels are not meant to be on earth. In fact, angels come to, uh, to, to the domain of man. Angels, the earth is not the estate for angels. It's the estate for man. 
That is why Jacob can wrestle with an angel and was able to get a draw. It was like a wrestling match in the Bible. And there was no winner, no loser. And they came into understanding, into negotiation. And the, uh, because the angel thought, hey, because why did Jacob, a man has to wrestle with the angel? And he was able to arrest the angel. And they, and they had one one. Have you watched a battle? I mean, a wrestling match. No victor, no winner. They say he's draw. So uh, why was why was Jacob able to draw with an angel? Why? Be because man was given to God gave man the earth. Even though the angel can assess the earth anyhow. Anyhow, anyhow, but however, Jacob decided to arrest an angel and said, I will never let you go unless you bless me. Genesis 32. Genesis 32 from verse 26. Okay. And he said, let me go. Yeah, who said so? The angel mm -hmm. said, let me go uh -huh. for the day break it. Uh -huh. And Jacob said, uh -huh. I will not let thee go, uh -huh. except thou bless me. Oh, so, so Jacob, yeah. And but go to where he said, and they wrestled from all day, all night, I mean. Yes. From verse 24. Uh -huh. Genesis 32, verse 24. Yeah. And Jacob was left alone. Uh -huh. And there wrestled a man with him and then the, until the breaking of the day. Uh -huh. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him. That is when the angel found out that this guy is not breakable. I'm with you. He touched the hollow of his thigh. As I hear you. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint. Uh -huh. As he wrestled with him. He still, yeah, he still said, and he became draw. Even though he had some bruises, it was draw. Have you seen where some bodies bleeding in a wrestling contest, but they say it is draw. But one is bleeding more. At that, I said, no. The one that is bleeding more has lost. How can you say it is draw? But in this matter, Jacob was the one nipping. But, uh, however, it was a drug game. Why? Because he went into negotiation with the angel. So, negotiations are the ganses. He said, if you want to go, I, I, I was on my own and you came. I can't let you go unless you have done that which you have promised. Now, so angels' dwelling places are in heaven. Man dwells on earth. Go to Genesis, sorry. First King 29, verse, I mean 22, verse 19. First King. So angels' dwelling place, the place where they dwell, where they have residency, is in heaven. Yes. First Kings 22. 19. Verse 19. Yes, sir. And he said, yes. Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. Uh -huh. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne, uh -huh. and all the hosts of heaven, and all the hosts of heaven, standing by him on his right hand, Go ahead. and on his left. Uh -huh. And the Lord said, uh -huh. Who shall persuade Ahab, uh -huh. that he may go up and f fall at Ramagilead? Okay, so you, you find out that the host of heaven, if you hear in the scripture, the host of heaven, it means that those that populate heaven, those who are the operational officers in heaven, the angels, Psalm 68, verse 17. 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 The chariots of God are 20,000, mm -hmm. even thousands of angels. Thousands of angels. And where are they? In heaven. In heaven. Revelation 5, 11. Revelation 5, 11. Revelation 5, 11. Then I begin to download what I want to um, excavate. I am trying to bring out something. The nugget. I'm laying a foundation and you'll be blessed. Don't be distracted. I'm with you, sir. Revelation 5, 11. Yes, sir. And I beheld, uh -huh. and I heard the voice of many angels uh -huh. round about the throne. Uh -huh. And the beasts uh -huh. and the elders uh -huh. and the number of them uh -huh. was ten thousand times ten thousand wow. and thousands of thousands. On, on wow. So that's why the angels dwell in place of heaven. However, it's good to mention this. Angels, we don't know all the names of the angels. And don't buy all the stories of all these names they give. 
Some people don't wake up and begin to call one Angel Rafael, Angel uh, Mbweke, Angel Andrew. There's one and there are only two, only Angel Michael and Angel, Archangel Michael and Angel um, Gabriel was mentioned in the Bible. So don't go and read all those books and you see all those names they give. And they said that the, all those, and some of you go and buy soap, uh, this angel soap, angel St. Michael soap, angel St. Michael oil. They don't have anything here to do on the earth. They don't have any oil. They don't have anything at all. But the Bible recognized that. Go to Daniel's, the book of Daniel's, uh, go to Daniel 12, verse 1. Daniel 12, verse 1. And what you say? Daniel 12, verse 1. Yes, sir. And at that time yes. shall Michael uh -huh. stand up, uh -huh. the great prince, uh -huh. which standeth for the children of thy people. Uh -huh. And there shall be a time of trouble, mm -hmm. such as never was, uh -huh. since there was a nation. Okay, that is only where there is a mention of the name of an angel. Go to Luke, Luke chapter 1, 19 and 26. 19 and 26. I'm trying to establish Bible only named Angel Michael and Angel Gabriel. However, some people can say, if two of them have names, others may have. But I'm not saying about that. But I don't want you to begin to buy all this um, spiritual manipulation. Anything beyond the Bible, I don't get into it. I don't get into anything. I don't want to know about 12 books of Abraham. 22 books of Moses. All those things are, yeah, somebody sits down. Somebody that has a mental case sits down and begin to write. Like there's one place I normally pass. I don't know him coming to the studio. You will, you will see a writing, all kinds of writing. And the man wrote on the wall that this work is, is, is realized when it is destroyed. So you can, then I read it over and over. I read it over and over. I can't understand the beginning and the end of But Somebody just have to, to come and write on the wall that this world is realized. And he said, from nothing to so that's how deep. But so you have some people who take Bible and begin to hear voices and they begin to write. So what am I, what am I after? So that you don't get into deception of the tricks of man in order to confuse you and derail you. So that, that's why I'm giving you names, only two names. And these angels are archangels, are chief angels. In fact, Michael is a chief prince. And I will come to that. So go to Luke what? Luke 1, 19 and Yes, Luke 1, 19. And what is that? Luke 1, 19. Yes, sir. And the angel answered and said unto him, uh -huh. I am Gabriel. I, I said, I am angel Gabriel. Yes. That stand in the presence of God. He said, I am angel. So that was an, that was an encounter. When Zacharias was praying, how do you know this, the name of this angel? This angel introduced himself. Zacharias at the time or on season where he was doing set apart in the, in the, in, in, in the own time. In the, in the upper room, he was there alone. He was chosen to go there and intercede and hear from God. And behold, an angel came and said, look, and, and introduced himself. I said, look, oh, Zacharias, I'm angel Gabriel. And, and Zacharias was a bit at first, say, yeah. He said, God has done that thing for you. you your wife will, will soon be a child. And Zacharias was telling the angel, I can't get it. I can't get it. I can't get it. He said, what? So that's why Gabriel said, look, I stand in the presence of God. Look, Zacharias, you may be a great man of God on the earth. God may have used you to perform miracles. God must have used you to do all kinds of healing and breakthrough. But I stand in the presence of God. You can't be there. I can be before God. I can be before you. God cannot come to you and you cannot come to God. And you have the audacity to query me. I said, I am an angel. That is how we know the name of Angel Gabriel. Now, I'm, I'm trying to wind up. But, so when I sat down here, something occurred to me. I said, wait a minute. Just like God created angels, out of those angels, you have angels that are rebel against God. So once I get into heaven as a writer, I will take a look. I can understand you. Everything 
that you have created, after a time they will rebel. You created man, he rebel. You created angel, they rebel. It is a message. You created angels. The, the angels wanted to turn, plan a coup in heaven. And God said, what? Go to Ezekiel 28. And that is why you have evil spirit. So angels that you see in quote, that you invoke through candle, through incense, are not good angels. They are evil spirit. They have all the characteristics of the angels and um, of angelic hosts. Because one God blesses you, he cannot take it. One God has blessed, like now, if God bless you with billions of pounds and you abuse God, he will not take it. And that is where God is different from man. If it is me, I will take my car key first so that I will know where this, this insult is coming from. But for God, his blessings are without repentance. Ezekiel. So I'm trying to tell you how evil angels came about. And that's where you have some evil angels in the heavenly places where they dwell in the second and first heaven. That's why Ephesians 6 12. He says, We we are not fighting principalities and powers. We, I mean, I mean flesh and blood. We are fighting spiritual wickedness in high places. No, no, no. Go back to Ezekiel. Ezekiel 28. Yes, Which verse? From verse 12. Verse 12. Yes, sir. He said, Son of man, uh -huh. take up a lamentation uh -huh. upon the king of Tyrus uh -huh. and say unto him, uh -huh. Thus says the Lord God, mm -hmm. thou sealest up the song, yes. full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. Mm -hmm. Thou hast been in Eden, mm -hmm. the garden of, the, of God. Mm -hmm. Every precious stone was thy covering. Wow. The sardius, uh -huh. the topaz, uh -huh. and the diamond. Go ahead. The bearing, uh -huh. the onyx, uh -huh. and the jasper, Go ahead. the sapphire, and the emerald, uh -huh. and the carbon coal. Go ahead. And gold, yes. the workmanship of thy tablets uh -huh. and of thy pubs was prepared in thee mm -hmm. in the day that thou was created. Wow, thou art the anointed cherub that covered, uh -huh. and I have said thee so. Uh -huh. Thou was upon the holy mount of God uh -huh. and has walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Go ahead, thou was perfect in thy days uh -huh. from the day that thou was created. Go ahead, till iniquity was found in thee, till iniquity re rebellion came unto who. Satan. And some of the angels followed him. That's why evil will not stop. No matter, that's why you see people who are evil and convince others to do robbery, to do gang, to do other things. It's one person. It's not only on earth, he began in heaven. Jude, um, go to um, Second Peter 2.4. 2 Second Peter 2.4. He talks about the angelic uh, angels that, yes, Second Peter 2, 4, then Jude 6. Then I begin to wind them for today. And second Peter 2, 4. Yes. For if God spared not the angels uh -huh. that sinned, uh -huh. but cast them down to hell, uh -huh. and delivered them into chains of darkness. So you have angels that sinned. So angels can sin against God, just as we can sin against God. But the only Savior, the only way that Jesus has died for me and for you. So there's a way of escape. When the angels sin, there's no way of escape. But when we sin on earth, there's a way of escape. Because the earth has been polluted, of course. So and God allowed his son to die on the earth, not for the angels, for me and for you. Indeed, it's the sense that we join God to judge the angels. So that's why you, the, before I narrow down, Revelation 12, 9. Revelation 12, 9, then I'll begin to zero down to what I want to say. I'm with you. Revelation 12, 9. Yes, sir. And the great dragon uh -huh. was cast out. Who was cast out? That old serpent. From where? From heaven. From heaven. Called the Satan, uh -huh. the devil, the devil, which deceived the whole world. It deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, uh -huh. and his angels were cast out with him. Exactly. And so he has angels, but we don't call them angels, or we call them evil angels. And they 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 operate like angels. That's why some of you who put on candle 
put on all kinds of incense and begin to make and they come. You can invoke evil spirits. And they come. Of course. Of course. Of course. They are not angels of God. They are angels of Satan. That is why you should be very careful where you go, what they teach you. And that is why you don't worship any angel. Any place they worship angels, carry your Bible. It is unscriptural. But you can command angels. But before I come to that, because tomorrow, by his grace, Angel Michael is in charge of this how I said it on Sunday. I did I did I said I think I said in charge of the heavens. Yeah, yeah. Angel Michael is in charge of the activities between the heavens and the earth. Listen, and I will prove it. So tomorrow I will dwell more about. The, the role Angel Michael play, the angels play, and Angel Gabriel is the one that have, a, have access on planet Earth to bring information. He is the chief angel or the chief prince. Why Angel Michael? And tomorrow I'm going to begin to teach you when the body of Moses was held up, God did not send Angel Gabriel. He sent Angel Michael to go and rebuke Satan to leave that body. And that's why the battles in the heavenly realm, you command the Angel Michael to destroy every gang up in the realm of the spirit. I'm going to teach you that. You will be so blessed. It is a mystery. And you are going to get results. We will not command the angels to go to places. Go and do this. You have a right to command the angels because you cannot fight them. But we have um, the Michael who, who will obey in the name of Jesus Christ because that name is a name above the brother name that in the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. I want to stop or interject for now here. By his grace, tomorrow, I begin to download the functions of the angel. You will be blessed. I want to assure you that. And God bless you as well. All right, so yeah, so this on the angels and the, the lines are open. You can call him, please, um, uh, and uh, have time to uh, to agree or to disagree. This program is normally open. Nobody knows it all, but we, we speak in the name of our Lord. There's somebody there looking at me. And from today, the angels of God will go before you. If, if Jesus Christ can command angels, if Jesus Christ can say, I have the power to command angels to fight for me, it means that every child of God ought to command angels to do their bidding. In the name of Jesus, of course. I want to. <coughs> he said, please, Pastor Uzo, I have done all I could do to get a job. Yeah. I need God's intervention in this area. Please pray for me. I'm going to. Uh, well, Jesus, I'm going to. Uh, well, ask the angels of God to go ahead of you. Let the angels of God make a way that in the name that is above every other name, that in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you command the angels that the angels can go ahead of you. Even even for interview, the angels can go ahead of you. Even you, even in your places of work, the angels can go ahead of you. Even in your journey, the angels can go ahead of you. You who can use the angels. Try to use the angels. They are meant to minister unto our needs, according to the scripture. Chinedu from Spain. How are you, sir? Chinedu from Spain. I'm fine. I'm doing good, sir. Yes, sir. I'm with you. Chinedu from Spain. Yes, sir. Uh, please, I don't know. I think there's a, there's a mistake in one of the prayer points. Where? On the website. Okay, on the website, that, that's good. What uh, is it? Out of, out of, out of to chapter 12 to 23. Oh, yes, yes. It, what is it? I saw that, I think I saw what that chapter 12, 23 says, where they gathered against Paul. Am I right? No, uh, uh, that, 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 is, that, is, that is 23, 23, 12, not 12, 23. Okay, it was, okay. Look, Chinedu, I make you a, I make you a pastor in your house. Stretch your hands, stretch your hands. Father, I claim this is yours. Sorry? 
I claim to be Jesus. Uh, yeah, you are. You are, in fact, you are, you are a pastor of Jesus Sanctuary in your house. That is fantastic. That is very good. Okay, I, I even repeated it because I wrote it. I made that mistake and I still repeated it. Thanks a lot and God bless you. God bless you. He took somebody from Spain. Andrew is here. Uh, I will, Collins, Collins is not here. <laughs> He's not his fault. <laughs> but it is well. And God bless you, sir. God bless you. So please, it's as 23.12. In fact, I even repeated it. Because I knew I saw it. It rang bell. It rang bell. But somehow, I don't know. I was anxious. Let us just pray it out. But thanks. A God will bless you a million times. That is good. You see, that's why some of you go to our website. It is free. You don't pay anything. You go and pray. And that means that that guy go to his, and goes to the Bible to know if the prayer point has raised his right, which is good. And God, we bless you, sir. Chinedu from Spain. And with you, sir. Yeah. It's a good evening, Pastor. Sir. Yes. God bless you and all your team. Amen. May the Lord preserve and keep you in perfect peace. Amen. Please pray for total healing and spiritual restoration. I need the touch of God and also for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. To be renewed and revived in my life. My soul, Father, I lift, mercy. I lift up this young man, my Lord. You are talking about total and recovery. My Father, my all, in that name, I use as a point of contact for all my viewers. If you are sick, there's somebody there. That lump must di disappear before the seventh day from today. You didn't know how that lump came about. And you and you will not know. I command it, it will must live. In Jesus' name. My Lord and my God, I thank you and I bless you for this young man. My Lord, and we're asking for the gift of the Spirit. The gift of wisdom, the gift of knowledge, the gift of faith, the gift of miracle, the gift of healing, the gift of administration. Every gift that is necessary for him. Father, may you, as you pray, visit him. Let him have, if you don't dream, you will begin to dream and see revelation. There's somebody there looking at me. Anywhere they have dulled your sense of vision in the dream, God has touched it, and you will begin to see as before. You are looking at me. Michael is your name. I'm with you, sir. He said, good day, Pastor Oza. Can you please interpret this dream for me? I saw a time in my dream. It says 2.09. That's two minutes after, uh, nine minutes after two. Mm. But a man there... He seems to be the owner of the time. Said that the time was not correct. And said that the correct time was 12.09. In a second dream, I saw a cracked wall in my bedroom. And part of it fell. I did pray about it, but not sure what it meant. Oh, well, just pray if I were you. Where 12 is a number that goes into a new day. Where I just to pray if I were Pray from two angles. And says that, Father, any... Time not of God in your life, you cancel it. Any time not of God. Number two, but a cracked wall is not good as well in the dream. A cracked wall. Man, you just equally ask God for intervention. But if I were you, turn it to let God, let it become, let God your set time to bless you. Let it be. But first of all, cancel any time not of God in your life. Any set time that is meant to bring you back, to take you back into Egypt. Reject it in Jesus' name. I'm with you. He said, Pastor, please pray for healing over my body. As the word says, his, by his stripes we were healed. Two shall decree a thing and shall be established. Are they? Uh, the Bible didn't say two. He said, you shall decree. That is Job 22, 28. He didn't say two. But he says one, which is what? A thousand and two shall change ten thousand. So, so since healing doesn't mean ten thousand demons are not there at all. But I'm going to pray. Let God have mercy upon you and in any way you have come short of His glory, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And as you have prayed, let it be to you according to your faith in Jesus' most powerful name. I have prayed. All right. He said, "Hello, Pastor." Sir. He said, "Thank you, sir, for the theme today about angels." Yeah. Although angels play a crucial part in the lives of believers, we have to be careful teaching about them. Although there are billions and billions of angels, the Bible only mentions three names. 
of angels, Michael, Gabriel, and Lucifer. So, the, the latter rebelled against God and became devil. So, so today, lots of churches are misleading believers with a very teaching, with very teaching of the ministry, ministry of angels. And this is where we find believers calling strange names of angels that the Bible didn't mention. Uh, but but uh, I, I have just said that, so I don't see what you are. There is no, that's why it's good to teach. You don't say you be, be careful of teaching. It's good, when you teach people the truth, so there's no need of being careful. Unless you, you go to all these white and green garment churches where they call all kinds of, no real Pentecostal church, no evangelical church can call angels all those names they call. And I have said so. I have said so. All those names are demonic. I've said that the, 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 the names, the angels, the angelic names in the Bible. But there are elder angels. If Jesus Christ, go to this day, Matthew. If Jesus Christ can say, you see, when you read the scripture, so he said there's no need be in the when you be careful to teach about the angels, when you when you have the spirit of God, you will teach the about the angels with authority. So that people will know. The difference between A and B. Yes, is it Matthew what? Matthew 26. Go to Matthew 26, verse 1. 52 and 53. Read it. I say, it then said Jesus unto him, uh -huh. Put up thy sword into his place. Go ahead. For all they that take the sword uh -huh. shall perish with the sword. Go ahead. Thinkest thou uh -huh. that I cannot now uh -huh. pray to my father, uh -huh. and he shall presently uh -huh. give me more than 12 legions of angels? Who, who was saying that? Jesus. So if Jesus Christ can, but you see, when you read Bible, I teach you how to read Bible. Oh, sorry, it's wrong to say that, but I'm becoming like a professor. No, nobody can be. One way to, when, when the Spirit of God ministers to me, how I understand the Bible is this. Jesus Christ said, thinkest thou, when they came after him, we will kill you. Who are you? With man. Oh, oh, and Peter drew out sword. Pia! No, no, Jesus Christ said, no, 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 no. Peter, no, 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 no. If I want to battle, I have a right to call billions, legions of angels. What does that tell you? If you are facing attack, my brother, call angels to, to help you fight. So that is how to get ministration about the word of God. And that's why you must be taught by the Holy Spirit for you to understand, that's why I began the background of this teaching. And from, from tomorrow, I want you not to deny yourself the services of angels. Use them. Call the angels. You don't need to call angel, Michael. You say angel is a generic name. And they will answer. In fact, I'll tell you something. Every child has an angel. Go to Matthew where? Every child. That's why you don't maltreat children. Those of you who maltreat children or abuse them, God fights you. Every child has an angel in heaven. Yes? Is it Matthew what? Go, Matthew, go to Matthew 10. Or, um, Matthew, Matthew, Yes? Matthew 18, 10. Matthew 18, 10. Matthew 18, 10. Yes? Yeah. Matthew 18, 10. Matthew 18, 10. He said, take it that ye despise not one of these little ones. Who was saying that? Jesus. Uh -huh. For I say unto you uh -huh. that in heaven uh -huh. their angels do always behold the face of my father, uh -huh. which is in heaven. So like I said, every child has an angel. So every human being, me, my body guys are angels. And that's why I fear no banker on the face of the earth. No human being until my work is over. No person on this face of this earth. If you like, go to India, all the whole oceans in India, in Pakistan, in China, in Africa, in America, nothing. He that is guiding us is too much. 
<laughs> That's why I sing, I have a father. You think all those songs I sing is for, is for singing. Every song that I do sing has a meaning. Almighty Father, who is King of kings, Lord of lords. And since Jesus Christ has angels, there's a place where after the temptation, angels came to minister to him. But because of time, yes? Let me read the text messages. He said, say, hello, sir. Please yeah. pray for me. My name is Grace. I can't sleep in the night properly. Wow. I don't know what's going on. My body's always weak. Wow. Grace, I lift you up in the name of Jesus Christ. And I use as a point of contact to all my viewers. Express the weakness of body. My father and my all, in the name, every medication that you take, you walk. Anywhere they are doing incitation, invoking your name, before a mirror, before a shrine, before water, the body of waters, on the highway, in the market square, I, I, in the graveyard, let the blood of Jesus answer them. In Jesus' most powerful name, I have prayed. All right, Abuchi from Germany. How are you, sir? I'm very good, Pastor. Good evening, and God bless you. Amen, Lord, my brother. Yeah, Pastor, please, I have a, something that is bothering me. My big daughter, um, I saw in the day, I had a voice of her address to you. She said in my dream, I don't want to talk to you anymore. So I didn't know what that means, but I kept praying for her, for any spirit of manipulation. But all of a sudden, early this year, um, she have a Facebook. And in this Facebook, uh, she used to, she's still a little girl, she's just 15 years. So she used to put some photos and then she put a photo I didn't like. So when I confronted her, the mom told me, so I confronted her, though we don't live together. But the mom told me, so I confronted her after the confrontation that she, you know, she agreed to remove it. But after this, we hardly talk. Even the mother was crying some days ago, telling me how stubborn she's getting. And I've been praying for God to change her heart. No, no, no it's not. For my daughter. No, no, it is not a prayer, an issue of prayer. It's an issue of fatherhood. You have separated. He has, it has emotional and psychological effect on the child. As simple as it is. That, that is why separation a husband and wife can survive it, but children, it has emotional impact on children. And that is why I'm against separation. Because the husband, the two, the two adults can, can survive it, but the children, it has emotional impact. And that is what you are seeing. And that is, it's not an issue of prayer, but I get it. I, can, I, can, I don't know what caused your separation. And uh, but that's why fatherhood is very important. So your child is reacting to, she has a way of saying certain things. And uh, but may God, it's not just an issue of prayer. So if I were you, visit her more. I don't know your case. I don't know why you are separated. So you visit her more and uh, try as it were. Uh, because you not just every separation affects children. It's not. Just, and the Bible says if you train a child in the way of the Lord. When he will grow, he will not depart from it. So if a child has no training, he's left to the environment, he's left to friends, he's left to internet, and that is what we are reaping at this present age. But may God hear your prayer, sir, and God bless you, and it is well. All right? Uh, Johnson from Ireland. How are you, sir? Johnson. I'm all right, sir. Good evening, Pastor. Sir. Yes, sir. From Ireland, yeah. Yeah, there is one important thing that I like about what you said, you know, about the angels. Yeah. But sometimes what baffles me is that, you know, why is this that some preachers, you know, all over the world, some of them do security, you know, policemen, you know, escorts, you know, they carry all the guns on this earth, you know, to protect them. But their members, they are telling them to put stickers, you know, on their door, on their car, you know. That will protect if God has given us angels to protect us because I myself I'm against I said it no matter what happened. 
Yeah. I don't think I need protection of man, but I need protection from God. No, no, Johnson. Because I know there is an Johnson. angel that guide and protect us. Uh, but I keep asking this Hold question: up. Why is it that when they want to come out, they are entourage, <laughs> they are, they are, they are armored <laughs> police, they are, you know, army <laughs> and everything will follow them. <laughs> but they are members, you know. Right. They will ask them, you know, for them to use sticker to protect themselves. No. So I, I think <laughs> this is will be very interesting. I like that. You know, so. I like to, to, you know, to, to highlight on it because I know angels are there. Yeah, of course. And I know course, they protect us from, yeah. I know what I have went through. I know that there is an assigned angel from the day I was born that was there to protect me all of the course. days of my life. Of course. So, so of course. I, I really like this topic. You yeah. know, if we can be able to you would... know, highlight on that, I'll be happy to accomplish it. No, hold on. Don't go there. <laughs> you went and raised. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Joseph, until you begin to have a billion that they have, then <laughs> if you don't have policemen that will hear you, <laughs> if, until you have all the planes that they have, all the billions that they have, that's why you see them security. You see them carrying security. They are even having like presidential fleet. You know? I'm oh, I'm my brother, you. my brother. <laughs> but until you have the, the, the kind of money they have, because if you have the money of the world, you need the men of the world to watch it. <laughs> oh, Justin just came from. You have added value to this program. I never knew somebody will. And he made sense, though. They asked their members, use the sticker to drive arm robbers. But <laughs> And they sell it to oh dear. This guy is. I thought I know, but some people are too much. Look, I don't know. I have joy. I don't know who I'm speaking to. May joy come into your family, into your home. In fact, I Abuchi, I use you as a point of contact. Children that are in one condition or the other, not as a result of their own fault. Father, I'm asking for a touch because you are a father above every other father. You for me, if you are a father above every other father, my father, touch that child. Let the father's prayer and the mother's prayer touch the child. And probably you can bring them back together if it is your will. In Jesus' most powerful name, I pray. I soak all of you in the blood of Jesus. By his grace, I will see you tomorrow. That one, by his grace, tomorrow, if it's rapture, I will see you in heaven. Otherwise, God bless you. I remain cool and bye bye. Happy,